I wonder if we are finally live. We could be, we should be, we are. Wow. Good morning, everybody. And good morning, Bilman Warren. And thank you so much for the super chat even before the stream has started. That's, uh, that's very generous of you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So, I'm in Osaka. I am pretty sure that I have not streamed from Osaka before, which is kind of weird because it's the second largest, well, technically it's not the second largest city because that's Yokohama, but it's the second largest urban area in Japan, the Osaka region. Uh, and I come here not too infrequently. I think there are a few pre-recorded walks from Osaka here, but um, yeah, I don't think I did a live stream here. So uh, let's do something about that. Um, I am somewhere near Umeda. I actually have no idea because I was like a little bit in a rush this morning. I had breakfast and everything took much longer than expected and you were waiting. So I basically just rushed out of the hotel, which is like 50 meters down that way. Uh, and just thought, wow, this, this uh, crossing looks cool. Let's start the stream here. But I'm somewhere pretty close to Umeda. I know that much. And Umeda is one of the kind of like major districts in Osaka. Uh, so I think I will actually start today's walk with a little bit of a vote. Well, I will start walking first of all. Uh, but I will let you vote. Do you want me to go to Osaka Castle? Uh, Osaka Castle is one of the main destinations here in Osaka, of course, and quite, uh, quite famous and popular and, in my opinion, quite nice. I've been there. It's surrounded by a beautiful um, garden, or not garden, but a park, nice park. There's some nice views. Uh, so yeah, Osaka Castle and then head back and explore the city or should I just focus on the city like the urban parts and skip the castle? The castle is a little bit of a detour. I think so I'm thinking to make this stream about maybe two hours So I think if, if I decide to head down to the castle that will probably take like at least half an hour 45 minutes of those two hours um, so yeah it sounds already even though i haven't announced the actual vote but uh, it sounds like you are indeed in favor for osaka castle okay so first of all i need to figure out where i am and where i'm heading because um, i have zero understanding of my current bearings so i don't know which direction is which I should be heading south, I know that much. Question is which direction is south. It looks like this might be south. Yeah, good, good, good. This is south. Okay, so we got something right. Something right. So then, yeah, let's start by walking down this Shoten guy. So one thing that's kind of cool about Osaka is that there's so many sh shopping streets or Shotengai like this. Just like under these like uh, covered shopping streets for hours. There's just so many of them and they're so long here in Osaka. So uh, yeah, that's gonna be, that's one thing I, I like about the city. You can have a good time here even if it rains. castle is going to take too much time well sounded like a lot of my viewers wanted to see the castle so that's what we will do but of course we will see some other parts of the city as well I am planning to head down to Dotombori which is this like very famous little river part um, and also kind of like one of the iconic locations in Osaka uh, also, I think it's a good idea to start with the castle because you see everything is closed like it's 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 early morning here in Osaka So everything is closed this early. So if we start by going to the castle then by the time we get back to the city hopefully uh, Some shops 
are actually open. It's very unusual for me to stream this early. You see that there's just at night. I was really kind of really wanted to do a night stream last night actually, but I was too tired. So I'm here in Osaka for work. Um, and the assignment took quite a long time and also it was raining last night so yeah i wanted to show you these streets at night but um the, the lazy part of me took over and uh, that obviously didn't happen so it's today it's the weather is very nice actually it's gonna be up to 23 24 degrees later today and sunny all day so great walking weather so the first little place i will head down to is uh, an island called nakanoshima where there's a nice little park and i can kind of walk across that island on my way to the castle so yeah, I've been to Osaka quite a few times. I've actually done a photo assignment for Osaka Metro a couple of years ago, uh, which was a lot of fun, where I was basically just told to like go wherever you want and photograph like the areas around the stations of Osaka Metro. So that was that was great, uh, and that made me explore the city a little bit. looks like here's a little hidden not so hidden maybe here's a little shrine oh thank you for the snack fund tracy thank you thank, thank you let's check out this place lost so he's still streaming tomorrow yeah <laughs> we'll see we'll see um no i'm actually heading back to to uh, tokyo this afternoon sorry i wish i could stay longer but my family needs me also this morning i was like really really debating like should i do this here in osaka or should i just hop on the train and go to kyoto because Kyoto is only half an hour away from Osaka so it's actually pretty easy to get there but I figured I have actually streamed from Os uh, Kyoto before and I have not streamed from Osaka so I decided that's kind of what made me decide to go for for the Osaka option uh, yes Jenny I think I thanked Billman for his generous super chat before the walk started if, the, if I didn't, then I'll do it again now. Thank you, Bill Warren, for your super chat and for your long standing support. Very nice of you. Yeah, Kyoto would indeed have been fun. I like Kyoto a lot. Um, I could only choose one. This time I chose Osaka. I also think the likelihood is relatively large that I will go to Kyoto again in a not too distant future. So, uh, yeah. Yes, Courtney, it's Osaka. It's Osaka indeed. I always love these kind of shrines with are just which are just like squished together in the urban concrete jungle that's very japan to me there's a few of, the, of these in um, tokyo as well and it's always quite uh, quite interesting
pretty much morning rush hour here. Everybody's heading to work this time of the day. So it should be quite a lot of traffic, people queuing for elevators in the office buildings, etc. etc. Morning streams are fun. It's just that when I'm in Tokyo I have my responsibilities to prepare breakfast for the rest of the family so not so much time uh, we are here here's Nakanoshima this island I told you about so I will walk down here walk through the park on Nakanoshima then head down here and there's Osaka Castle so that's kind of the the plan for short-term plan question is just hmm, sure well let's start by crossing this pedestrian bridge I think I mentioned this before but I always enjoy coming to Osaka like it's such a nice city and I always feel that the people here are just a little bit more easygoing and friendly than in Tokyo, which makes a huge difference actually. I'm pretty sure we will get lost a couple of times during today's walk. It would be very strange if, if not. I have my trusty Rico GR around my neck, so I'm shooting a bit of street photos as I'm walking today, which probably will end up on Instagram or something at some point. Thank you, Cody. Coyote. <laughs> Sorry. It's early. I, my speech functionality hasn't really been properly booted up yet. But thank you for the super chat. be a beautiful day I already like the how the light is hitting the streets very nice good walking weather pretty cool building so yeah basically I have to be back at the hotel by 11 that's my checkout time so at most I can stream for another two hours or so. Oh hey, bit of a wonder, long time no see. Or maybe not. It feels like I haven't seen you in a while. Anyway, thanks for stopping by today. Ah oh, Jenny, Ekiben for the train home. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Very nice of you taking the Shinkansen back home. Uh, my train back is around 4 o'clock, I believe. Our memberships, yes. And if you are like New City, where I haven't where I'm not so familiar with things. I really have no idea where I am right now, for example. That's fun, I like that. Here's a map. Oh, there's an American consulate. That's the building here across the street, I guess. And 
here is the Nakanoshima, so that's where we're heading. So let's cross here and then continue this way. And we should be on the island in no time. How do you experience Osaka? Is it nice? Yeah, I, I like I said, I always enjoy coming here. This time I haven't really had much time because I yesterday I was working all day wrap things up pretty late and didn't have energy to experience anything after that other than the bed at my hotel but uh, yeah I'm glad at least that I have this day to take it a little bit easier and uh, to do this stream and maybe shoot another video or two as well who knows who knows They want to live. I, I personally, I would love to try living in a chair of my work. It's it would be a bit of a hassle to move, switch towns. We did head into a dead spot, it seemed, with a signal, but looks like it's bouncing back up now. Uh, are you interested in martial arts? No, I'm not. I used to practice karate and judo when I was a teenager back in Sweden, a long, long time ago. But uh, these days, I don't care, I zero interest and watching people beat each other up. So, at least now we're here on Nakanoshima. Or, not yet, we're on the bridge that will take us to Nakanoshima. that there are few people with experience of Osaka who are giving us updates of where we are and what we're passing. Thank you. Thank you for filling the gaps in the knowledge that I lack. Across the city hall. This one? Or this one? How does the metro system in Osaka compare to Tokyo? Oh, it's pretty well built out, it seems. Uh, I mean, it is a smaller city with a smaller population, so it's not as extensive as in Tokyo. But uh, yeah, it seems to be serving its purpose pretty well. Um, and just like in Tokyo, it's also like a bunch of different train companies that are serving the city. So it's not only like the metro. Question is, no, let's head down here. Let's head down this way along the water. Um, yeah, many different train companies. So it's not only the metro, but uh, a bunch of other, other trains.
subway in Osaka is expensive. Yeah, that's probably right. I think it's more expensive. Like Tokyo has like the cheapest uh, train fares in Japan, right? Anywhere you go, it's more expensive. It always strikes me. Which makes sense considering that there are so many people using it in Tokyo. So I guess then every the profit from each passenger can be a little bit smaller. Found in Japan. You you live here in Osaka, right? <laughs> you can maybe, if you're up for it, maybe we can have lunch or something. Uh, I will be here until early afternoon. So shoot me a message on Instagram if you're if you're up for lunch or a coffee or something later today. Is there like a monthly pass you can buy for all public transportation? No. Uh, there's actually not that many passes like that in Japan. There is one that you can buy for the Tokyo Metro. Uh, you can use all the lines as much as you want in a month, but it's not very common. I, I actually never met anyone who used that. What most people do is that they get from their employer, they get a monthly pass, which covers the, the journey between their home and to their workplace. But, and of course, any station on the way, they can also get on or off. Um, but other than that, yeah, passes that gives you like free access to everything, no. And the one in, in Tokyo that I was talking about is, um, yeah, it's only for the Tokyo Metro. So usually if you live in Tokyo, you are using not only the Metro, but also like JR and a bunch of other trains. Um, there's like some some passes that are like for one day or two days that gives you access to everything but those are usually just aimed at tourists and uh, yeah not something that you would use permanently school bible coffee farm go to a local osaka coffee shop okay thank you thank you yeah let's see if we can find somewhere to have a good cup of coffee during today's walk that should be possible i actually had two cups already uh, at breakfast at the hotel but uh, yeah i think there's room for one more one more uh, cup before lunch. Is public transport same or different than Tokyo? I'm not sure if I understand the, the question. Well, it's largely the same. Trains, buses, maybe a boat or two, the usual stuff. Uh, But the, there's different companies in Japan, but the local train companies are precisely that, local. So, big here in Osaka, but we don't see, we don't have them in Tokyo and vice versa. Was it just a simple breakfast? Oh, no, it was a pretty decent hotel breakfast. Uh, with me in Japan, yes, I'm in your hometown. We're coming to. It would be great if we could stream here together sometime. Then you could show me around. Here's a train station over here. I think this is. I think you can take the train all the way to Kyoto from here. I have a, some sort of memory of doing that once. Looks like 
Rakuten signal here in Osaka is not as good as it is in Tokyo. In Tokyo it's usually locked at the highest bit rate for most of the time, but here it's haven't seen it touch 10,000 at all. Also one kind of interesting thing about Osaka is that it's extremely, like if you look at Osaka on a map, it's extremely, like it's a really a grid-based city, like everything is super straight. I guess the city was really like in ruins and they had to rebuild it after the war. Easy to understand. Tok Some parts of Tokyo are like that too, but not all of it, but in Osaka it feels like Pretty much all of the central city is following a very straight grid system. Ah, found in Japan, you're one hour away. Ah, too bad. Which part of Osaka did you grow up in, Yuka? Are you like from the central parts of Osaka or are you more like somewhere in the outskirts? sometime soon. Maybe not. The white building is a children's library and a museum. This one. Oh nice. That looks like a very good initiative. Cool building too. Wish I could take my daughter there sometime. but I live really nearby the area you are now in. Oh, I see. I see, I see. Yeah. I really wish the Shinkansen tickets were a little bit more affordable so that I could travel here spontaneously more often. Oh, I think Rather than going over here, I think I can actually go, I can just take these stairs and go under the bridge. Nakanoshima da. So, Nakanoshima de gozaimasu. Been to the Expo 70 Park. Yes, I have. Quite a long time ago, but yeah, I went there many many years ago really liked it also I got to ride the monorail which was pretty cool Shinkansen is a bit expensive yeah it's like 30,000 yen for a round trip that's, that's a little bit hefty It's fine if, if there's a specific reason for it, but it's like, it's too expensive for me to be just like, oh, why not go to Osaka next weekend? Just for, for fun. I like this rose garden. It's very nice. 
quite a photogenic spot as well. Good morning, Lemmy. Good to see you here as well. Uh, if this is near Bampakukoen, no, that's the expo part, Bampakukoen. That's like a little bit in the outskirts of Osaka, right? Actually, it's getting warm. I was like, do I need to take the jacket? But then I looked. And it said it was only 14 degrees when I was about to start this stream. But now it's like really heating up and I'm becoming like a sweaty, sweaty, grumpy old man. So let me take off my jacket. Great place for a beer break, by the way. Just saying. Sorry, folks, give me a moment to just empty my pockets and reorganize things over here a little bit. reached 6k congratulations congratulations yeah I think everybody got a quite a good boost thanks to Halloween right like, you guys really streamed a lot during the Halloween days and I, it seems like at least some of you got like record-breaking videos up there that's great good job good job Okay, finally, I think I'm ready to continue my walk. Oh. Okay. Yeah, 14 degrees, but now it's a 16, but I'm pretty sure it's actually warmer than that. And it's gonna go up to 23 today, so. For November, I kind of like this weather. As a Swede, I think it's nice. I think it's nice to be able to not freeze in November. Put your poll had 3,100 viewers on his live stream. Wow! That, if that was me, that meant I would have to show my face three times. So go in there. So go in there. I am walking the right way, right? I'm not gonna reach a dead end by continuing this direction or A little bit unsure.
Yeah, it looks like there's a bridge over there. I feel like it's late summer in Sweden. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much late summer. Like Sweden, when I left Sweden in September, it was probably similar kind of temperatures. yet kinda kinda I kind of know where I am and which direction to walk but I'm unfamiliar with the streets and if I will reach a dead end but basically here I have to cross this bridge and there's like yeah yeah I'm getting there I'm getting there slowly but surely Osaka castle is almost within reach it's like behind those buildings over there <laughs> Someone has a tent. Someone's camping here. Urban camping. Nice. Yeah, signal is really not great here though. Which is kind of surprising because it's very open so surprised the signal is so weak but hopefully you can still see and hear me and well hear me and see Osaka so you're walking down to south yeah yeah we'll see ideally I would like to walk all the way to Tsutenkaku but I'm not sure if I have time for that. That's a little bit far. And I asked the viewers in the beginning of the stream if they wanted me to, to do the detour and head to Osaka Castle. And most of them did. Also, you might notice that there's actually a lot of low-flying planes uh, over Osaka. And that's because the Osaka airport is, is very centrally located. Like it's not far from the city center at all. So that's also a little, a somewhat interesting detail about Osaka, I guess. Okay, you can hear me, but there's a lot of artifacting, I see. Well, I guess that's better than the other way around problem but since I'm going to Osaka castle and I also want to pass the Tombori and some other iconic areas so we'll see how far I make it is Osaka castle open for visiting uh, I think so I think so it's uh, quite a popular tourist destination and I uh, don't know if it's been closed for any reason but yeah but it's not Osaka castle is not the original castle it's a replica so or I mean I think it is most castles in Japan are replicas ah, here's another low-flying plane getting a bit windy up here. What are you doing in Osaka? Uh, I was here for here yesterday and instead of just making it a day trip I decided to stay here for one night and uh, be, be a tourist for a few hours with you. Should we head down this way or let me check? No, I think I will walk down. We, we walked along the river for quite some time now, so let's 
let's move into the busier streets again. Hopefully also if we're closer to like office buildings, maybe signal will be a little bit better, who knows. Will I be doing any night walks in Osaka? No, because I'm going back to Tokyo this afternoon. weather today. It's clear and sunny. It's still quite early in the morning so it's a little bit somewhat cool. It says 16 degrees but I think this has just hasn't updated yet but it will be 23 degrees later today. So soon. Yeah I'm going back this afternoon. Wish I could stay longer, but I have a family, you know? We were also talking about maybe going here together, like to, to bring the my wife and daughter and stay here a few more nights, but yeah, we did some calculations and we felt that it was a little bit would be too a little bit too expensive and it was a little bit too unplanned and spontaneous. So we'll save that money for a hopefully some more exciting trip a little bit later. So I think I can head down this way. That should take us to the castle. Okay, found in Japan, enjoy your day with the wife. I'll let you know next time I'll be around. Absolutely. Wonder if Osaka has a similar Halloween party to Tokyo. I think I think they have a Halloween party in around Dotonburi. I'm not not that big, I guess. Not like Shibuya. Once we get over this little hill here, we might be able to see the castle.
now, but that's a weird building. Blue one here. Looks like something out of a video game. Also, by the way, I, I found one of the most, one of the saddest playgrounds I've ever seen yesterday when I was doing that assignment. <laughs> I posted a photo on Twitter, so those of you who are following me there can, uh, can have a look and let me know if you agree if it was the saddest playground ever or if you've seen anything sadder. This one over here doesn't look that sad in comparison. Kind of sad though. But yeah, nowhere near the sadness level of yesterday's playground. Dinner looked great last night. Yeah, I posted my dinner on Instagram as well. Uh, I had like really fancy sushi. Uh, it felt like the 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 concept of that that store I went to. The, the concept was to make just the most massive and generous pieces of sushi ever. <laughs> it was really good. It was really good, but it was it was uh, also quite expensive by Tokyo standards um, I paid 4,000 yen for my dinner, which I would never do uh, Normally, but the thing is like right now there's this uh, travel campaign in Japan, so When we go on like domestic trips we get like heavily heavy discounts and also we get like a voucher that we can only spend in the area we're staying. So I got like a 3,000 yen voucher, which I decided to just, ah, let's treat myself to a really good meal. I mean, if I'm out with my wife or something, then it's a different thing. Then, of course, we, we could have something like that for dinner. But usually when I'm on a work trip and just by myself, I tend to just buy cheap, cheap stuff. Hey Daniel and Yuka, you're here. Great. <laughs> yeah, I'm in Osaka. Osaka for a few more hours. How do you go to Osaka? I took the Shinkansen. Which in my opinion is the superior way of traveling between Tokyo and Osaka. It's, it's actually cheaper to fly, but uh, I just think the Shinkansen is so so convenient and comfortable and such an enjoyable experience. So that's what I prefer. Yeah, it was raining all day yesterday, but today is beautiful. It's a perfect day for streaming. Greetings from Argentina. Thank you, Martin. Look at 
the map now. Yep, we are very, very close. Very, very close. how Rakuten coverage is in Osaka. Yeah, it's not that great actually. So far during this stream, it's it's like never been 10,000 kilobits bitrate. It's always fluctuating. It's quite often quite low. Ah, I can see about a third of Osaka Castle. Like every time I ride the Shinkansen, this is a response to Yenis' comment, by the way. Every time I ride the Shinkansen here, it's just that that gives me like the feeling like, oh, it's so nice to live in Japan. <laughs> like the the I don't know, it's just such a high class, high quality experience in every way. And uh, especially this time, actually, I splurge a little bit extra to to ride on the green car seats, which is like the front a bit more. But you get like a seat because I was working on the train. So then I felt like it's to have that little bit of extra space is kind of worth it. And it wasn't like a big price difference. I think I paid like 2000 yen more or something like that. Please show Osaka Castle. I'm heading there. Be patient. Be patient. I'm on my way to the castle. It's almost showing up over there. now is just how do I get in there? I think there's a moat between me and the out. How I can cross that. Oh! How convenient! It looks like there's actually a bridge right here. Or? So, pretty sure this is the right way. Oh, and actually that building that I said was the castle, it's not the castle. It's that building there. It's not the castle. The castle is a little bit fancier than that. This is just some old... Kura or something, I guess. day. Perfect walking weather. Unfortunately not perfect signal. That sucks. Well, it's life of being a, a live streamer. <laughs> You're always at the mercy of the signal strength which is 
generally quite unpredictable. Looks like there's a gate over there, which hopefully will take me closer to the castle. Even these balls are really impressive actually. And now the light is also perfect here. No, I still don't think we can see the castle. Where am I missing something? Oh wait, okay, okay, there it is. Yeah, let's zoom. There, can you see it? That's the castle. That's the castle over there. Let me move around a little bit. I should be able to see it. And there we go castle, airplane, castle, watchtower. Getting closer to 300 viewers. I hope at least we can reach 300 soon. If 400 would be even better. 1000 would be awesome because then I have to do a face reveal. But I'm not sure. I have a feeling that we will not reach 1000 viewers today. are crossed. Have you streamed here before? No, I am pretty sure this is my first live stream from Osaka actually. Call your 700 friends, that would be great. <laughs> okay, George, didn't know you were already moderator somewhere else. I see. Good luck then. Good luck with your moderating job. Say original, but original from 
out and castle walls. Yeah, me too. Like somehow, and this is not the first time I'm thinking this, but this place to me is more impressive than Imperial Palace actually in Tokyo. And this also feels much more kind of inviting. Like I, I hardly ever go to the Imperial Palace Gardens in Tokyo. But I think if I lived in Osaka, I would probably come here just to hang out quite often. Ah, 300 viewers now. Yay, thank you everybody. Thanks for joining me. Just roaming around, enjoy your time in Kyoto. I was this close to traveling to Kyoto this morning. I streamed from there instead. But then I realized I streamed from Kyoto before, but I've never streamed from Osaka. So I decided to do an Osaka stream instead. Yeah, the castle in Himeji is beautiful. That's one of the few remaining original ones, uh, as far as I know. Himeji and Matsumoto are original, right? Maybe a handful of others. Thumbs up. Yeah, thank you, DA. Uh, and to everybody else who's watching too, if you haven't already, clicking the like button is a very, very easy way for you to show your support, help me reach more viewers, and uh, yeah, in extension, give you more live streams where you can see things such as the secret Eduera sewer pipe from, uh, from the Osaka castle leading out to, to the river. So beautiful, so kawaii. Oh, really? You think this is... Is this kawaii? I don't know. It's not the word I would use to describe the, a castle, I guess, but... Beautiful, absolutely. It's a beautiful place, this. So many green, yeah, and yellow and red as well. Autumnness. a little bit of information you can pause the video and read that if you want uh, did you have an ekiban on the train uh, no on the train here no because I took a morning train so I left around 9 and arrived 11 to 30 so I had lunch um, at uh, the station when I arrived and today I will have lunch probably after this stream. Maybe I will eat, maybe I will have a bento on the train back home for dinner. How would you say beautiful in terms of scenery in Japanese? Utsukushi, mm, kana? I think that's the word you would use for beautiful. Utsukushi. Maybe you could also use kirei, but that sounds a little bit uh, less sophisticated. Morning, Tokyo Paul. 
Oh, you're here. I thought you were streaming. So, question is, yeah, I guess we should head out. There's also some shrines and stuff, but uh, let's focus on the on the castle, shall we? to fly a drone here, not surprisingly. So now we are here at the castle. This one. This also looks kind of like a castle, but a western one. Here. Yeah, lots of students here. I guess this is one of the where like everybody uh, growing up <laughs> and the wedding photo shoot I think uh, yeah I guess if you're living in Kansai you probably get, go here on school trips every now and then of students here. I think you can see that there's people up there. There's an observatory deck where you can see the view. ever considered getting a drone I have a drone I don't know so nowadays it's kind of so complicated with where you're allowed to fly and where not and I'm already always very nervous about flying at the wrong place so yeah I have a drone but I don't use it very often at all What they do when they build these replicas uh, of castles in Japan is that they, they turn them into museums and I don't know in my opinion I haven't seen like a castle museum that has been particularly interesting but then again like I'm not that interested in Japanese history so maybe if you are it might be it might be more exciting but um, Um, sorry, I lost track of my thoughts because of some very loud people. Um, yeah, I don't remember what I was saying. Yeah, they, they turn it into a museum and then an observatory on the top. And it's kind of like that's, that's the template for all the Japanese castles, it seems. Uh, and I don't know. I haven't seen any castle museum that has been kind of like very friendly to non-Japanese speakers like 
very information is usually translated to other languages and uh, it's a little bit I don't know to me they feel places that you take high school kids to give them a bad experience <laughs> Maybe I'm being unnecessarily harsh. Feels like a missed opportunity though. They could probably make it so much better with a bit more ambition. So I can thank you. The interior of Osaka Castle is a museum. Yes, I do like the view from the top and the ground stuff. Yeah, the view is beautiful. The exterior view, views of the castle are also beautiful. I, I photographed this place a couple of times for various assignments and it's, it's a joy to... I don't know, it's, it's something about it that makes this place a bit more enjoyable to shoot than most other castles I've shot in Japan. I really like it. There's so many like interesting layers with details. So let me take a look at the map and figure out where to go from here. We've been walking for a little over an hour. So I think we have one more hour or so to go. Uh, and I want to make it at least down to Dotonbori. According to Google, that will take me 55, 54 minutes. So. Uh, and it seems like the only reasonable way to get there would be to kind of go back the same, leave the castle, the same bridge I came. There's a few more other bridges, but they are, would take me in to completely different directions, which I'm not, I don't really feel I have the time for that. So, uh, let's go. Let's head back. Let's head back to the city center. Should we maybe, should we have a little vending machine drink break first. I think I deserve a little break. What do you say? And I finally managed to switch back so now I have my uh, well, not end not workout uh, now I finally have a Suica on my Apple Watch again which is making life so much easier when you're streaming so I guess today's today's drink break should we have mm. or should we have maybe ice cream mm, ice cream can I afford ice cream I need to recharge my suica I don't have that much money on it uh, which is a bummer I think I can afford oh no damn it this doesn't take a uh, suica damn it only the drink vending machines take Suica. Let's see, can I dig out some cash? I think I can. I think I can. Yes, so let's get crispy sandwich, the caramel from Hagen Dutz. That sounds good. I think I deserve that. Easy to eat as well. Let's see if this machine wants my money. It does. Great. Yeah, let's ice cream. Let's 
its ice cream while enjoying the view. Oh, there's a table up there, perfect. This, this feels super light. It's, it's tiny ice cream. So we eat it very quickly. We also have a pretty nice view of the castle. It's very wet. Hmm. It's a bit drier. Okay. So let's do a little ice cream break while taking in the views of Osaka Castle. Check the chat, see what you are all saying. Ice cream time. <laughs> the view is beautiful. Yeah. It is a good castle. Do you like okonomiyaki? Um, it's okay. It's not my favorite food, to be honest. It's a bit too heavy. And all the sauces and stuff makes it feel so kind of unhealthy. Um, but it's not bad. And it's a, it's a fun food to share with friends. Um, but I would never have it on my own, for example. <clears throat> mm, what else are you saying? Mm, nice to know there are no crowds. Yeah, well, it's still pretty early, you know. It's just, well, it's almost 10 o'clock, but <clears throat> I'm pretty sure it will get crowded soon. Now tourists are back in Japan, um, but yeah, now in the morning it was pretty quiet and nice. Almost done with my ice cream. Cas ice cream, castle. Ice cream, castle. Ice cream, castle. The autofocus is slow. Very slow. Oh well. Mm -mm 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 Yeah, binoculars or really long zoom lens would be nice if you go up there. Okay, 
Let's get going. Stream more than one hour ago. Yeah, I started early today. I'm on a tight schedule and I woke up. I woke up before six this morning. I usually wake up pretty early. Um, so I decided to stream first before things got too crowded. We're really hovering around 300 viewers today. Eh? I see no fish in the pond. Unusual. Do you use TikTok? No, absolutely not. I'm too old and too grumpy for TikTok. I tried once, but I hated it. <laughs> Let's see, how do I get out from here? I guess I have to walk around this place or can I walk down here? As soon as I stop for like a brief moment, my Apple Watch is like, are you done with your workout now? Almost in a kind of aggressive. So soon, it's like, even if I stop for just one minute, it's like, are you done with your workout? tourists arriving at the castle. Super cute preschool kids. Hi. 
Thank you, Mr. Miyazaki. Good to hear that this little walk managed to cheer you up. I understand that your health situation is not very good right now. So yeah, I hope that you will recover soon. This building is also beautiful. Sorry, I'm very quiet because I'm looking at the map and trying to figure out if I will actually make it to Dotonbori. I think it's gonna be kind of stressful. And I don't like stressful. So maybe, maybe I'll just not do that. Maybe I'll do, maybe I'll walk somewhere else. Looks like we're not supposed to enter. What about this? Oh, here's some sort of garden. I guess. Mm. But no. At least let's head back to, to the city. Uh, maybe I'll just have to head back to towards my hotel. Uh, have you had COVID yet? Yes, I did. I had it, when was it, about two months ago? It was not fun, but it was not awful either but probably because I was already vaccinated so it didn't get that severe I was like really sick for one day and then half sick for a few more days <laughs> yes, thank you, Jenny, for plugging my Patreon. Indeed. This is also a pretty interesting building over there. Um, yeah. If you join me on Patreon, you will get access to my Patreon only live streams where I tell you a little bit more about what's going on in my life, also show my face, and uh, yeah, I don't know. That's it, I guess. Anyway, the link is in the video description or in the chat. Uh, join me there if you want to help support the channel. I hope you enjoyed that little Osaka castle tour. It took way longer than I expected. So yeah, I'm kind of running out of time. Need to start heading back towards the hotel and check out. Um, so if anyone 
knows Osaka very well and have any suggestions of places that are near my current location that I could visit before waving goodbye that would be that would be very appreciated it's a pretty early stream usually I start my streams around this time Potentially I could do another stream later today or record a 4k video. Also this is a pretty cute little Lawson. Yeah Shinsekai area would be great but that's pretty far from where I am right now. Originally, I was hoping to go there as well because that's, yeah, I really like that part of Osaka. Let me take a look at the map again. What about a sneaky stream out the window of Shinkansen? I think signal would not be very good. Uh, I mean that that uh, idea has crossed my mind a handful of times as well uh, but yeah uh, actually I will walk here next to the castle instead um, yeah maybe I will record a full video or something we'll see at least now I think I will just head back to the nearest station and uh, wave goodbye to you there Nordic lights yeah well, it's still past midnight over there, isn't it? But yeah, good you could catch it. At least the battery has been very kind to me today. Uh, still 56% battery left and I've already streamed for over an hour and a half. Loving this walk tea. Thank you, bit of wonder. Thank you, thank you. Walk from Osaka Castle to Totonbori. Well, that was my original plan, but I don't have time. I don't have time because I need to check out from the hotel. I don't want to rush. It's not fun if, I, if it gets too stressful. Yeah, it's 48 minutes from my current location to the to the Pombori. Thank you, T. Thank you, Eric, and thank you, everybody else who joined me today. We're still like five minutes away from the station so not really time to say goodbye yet but soon soon the weather looks so nice yeah it's perfect it's really really perfect walking weather today in my opinion so i should really do more morning streams i really like the light early in the morning like now it's it's still good now but when I started the walk, it was much nicer. Aha, the frontier, so roll it. Aha, ganska tidigt. 
eller sent, beroende på hur man ser på saken. Will this is Kyoto as well? No! No, I'm going back to Tokyo in a few hours this afternoon. So I was kind of like thinking if I should stream from Kyoto this morning or if I should just do Osaka. And as I mentioned earlier, uh, I already streamed from Kyoto before, but I've never streamed from Osaka before. So that's why. Ah, Lucy. <laughs> Glad you. Yeah, I think I saw you in the chat a little bit earlier, but I forgot to say hi. But hope you're still having a good time in Japan. Stora hälsningar från hemlandet. <laughs> Like I just need to head down here and uh, then I'll be at the station. Do you plan a live for tonight? No, no. Uh, evening, evening walks, evening lives, Japanese time are basically only on weekends. It's very difficult for me to to have time for for that on the weekdays. Now with my my uh, full-time job and or not full-time job but half-time job uh, and all that family stuff as well so as i said so many times before i really wish i could do more evening evening walks but yeah it's just not realistic right now Do we could actually try to also include the subway ride on the stream? I don't do that very often, but why not? I'm a tourist in Osaka. Let's see if we can also take the subway together. That would be fun. Not sure if the signal will hold up though. That we shall find out. We're heading to Temabashi Station. It will be a nice walk by the Riverside Park. Ah, I hear you were not watching the first half of my stream because that's exactly what I did in the beginning of this stream. Thanks for all the time you share with us. It's greatly appreciated. Thank you, Ningpos. Thank you. And likewise, thanks for all the time you, my dear viewers, share with me. That's something I appreciate as well. morning streams they fit with the European time <laughs> really maybe for Europeans with insomnia but otherwise I mean it's still way past midnight in most parts of Europe but uh, I'm glad that some of you are still up 
appreciate it. So, here's the subway station. And Mabashi station. Let's see, if the signal breaks breaks down, I will just... No, that was just an elevator. Um, yeah, if the signal breaks down, I will just have to end the stream. But uh, we'll see. see if Rakuten has decent coverage in the Osaka Metro. Very windy. Signal is not really very strong here. I just missed my train. I'm taking this one. Oh, it's not horrible here on the on the platform. It seems. a little map of the Osaka Metro. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine lines. I think this one is pretty short, new tram. Ah, this one, right? So yeah, it's a pretty comprehensive system, I guess. But not really as comprehensive as the one in Tokyo. And here, this is actually, that's Kyoto over there. So one of the, uh, yeah, one of the nice things about living in Osaka, at least it would be for me, that you can travel to Kyoto so easily. And also like, Kobe is very near, easy to visit. Lots of great places in, in this part of Japan. Doesn't say when the next train is coming. Ah, okay. There's some uh, there's some disruptions in the in the um, train network right now. That's why it doesn't say when the next train is coming. It's supposed to be like this, at least showing you where, like, if the train has, yeah, if it's at the previous station yet or where it is, but. This is pretty quiet. Um, rush hour is over, I guess. Ah, there we go. So, train is two stops away. Oh, is this a loop line? I see, I didn't know that. Mm, 
Is it? No, I don't think this is a loop line. Doesn't look like it to me for right here. forgot to check I don't think they have that written anywhere here no it would be nice to see the prices how much it is to write this don't you have vending machines on the platform? have to take the train thirsty in Osaka that's good I guess okay so now the train is at the previous station so it should be arriving here in just a minute or three Let's see how the train, how the signal holds up while I'm riding the train. Oh, train is actually a bit crowded. Wow, oh, I didn't expect it to be this crowded. Maybe because it's delayed. The train platform two is down for Danichi in Higashima. signal holds up in the tunnel if the stream dies
Bye. Yeah, I don't know. Are we still live? Let me know if you can hear this. It sounded like the stream died at some point, but uh, hopefully it managed to reconnect. It's always a bit of a gamble when that happens. Sometimes it works, sometimes it completely just dies and never recovers. Some of you commented about the women's car so those are usually it's just women's car like in the morning rush hour so usually until nine o'clock but obviously the signs are there all day but uh, it's the same in tokyo okay so that ride was 180 yen We are in Umeda, back to where we started. Josh, 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 to a coffee. <laughs> There's lots of these underground shopping malls here. Osaka. Osaka is like really, I don't know, to me it feels like a very shopping centric city. I mean, that applies for, to Tokyo as well, of course, but I don't know. It's just such, I don't know. Maybe because when I'm in Osaka, I tend to always just stay in the central parts. Uh, so that's all I see. Whereas in Tokyo, I see a lot of the residential areas as well. in Tokyo. We're still in Osaka. We're still in Osaka. <laughs> Let's see if we can find a way out. That tends to often be a problem in these underground shopping malls. street hopefully, hopefully oh I see the sky I see daylight again We're actually back exactly where I started the stream two hours ago. So, yeah, interesting, <laughs> interesting route for today's walk. I didn't really show you that much of the busy central parts of Osaka. That means I have a reason to come back here sometime soon. But for now, yeah, this will be it. 
see this is the round building where I started the stream. My hotel is just a little walk away from here. So, and I'm out of breath from climbing those stairs, as you might hear. Anyway, thanks for joining me today. It turned out to be a bit, become a bit different than I initially expected. Had a plan for today's stream, but other than Osaka Castle, <laughs> nothing else fell through. But that's life. Hope you enjoyed it anyway. Thank you so much for watching and uh, I'll see you soon again, I hope. Thank you. Bye bye. Hey, do. Matane. Auf Wiedersehen. Tschüss.